Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The eraser tool changes the pixels of your image into either the background color or to transparency. The pixels change to the background color on layers with a locked transparency or a background layer. Otherwise, pixels are erased to transparency. To select the eraser, click the eraser tool button over in the toolbox, located right here. Then you just click and drag in your image to apply the background color that you have selected. We have just white selected right now, so when we click and drag, that's what would be applied. Now just like the brush tool and the pencil tool, the eraser also has options for its performance that you can set. In the options bar you can see that we can set the size of the brush used, just like before, the mode of the eraser, and the opacity of course. Also, you can make the eraser act like an airbrush just the same way that you made the brush tool perform like an airbrush. You just click the airbrush button which is located right here. And then you just drag into your image and it will act as an airbrush. You can use, of course, the flow slider right to the left of it to set the amount of color used in the airbrush. Otherwise, the flow has no effect, obviously. If you select the Erase to History checkbox, this one right here, and then click the left column of the state or snapshot in the history panel, you can erase to a saved state or snapshot as well. And that's all there is to using the eraser tool. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.